Greetings, dear friends. Happy Monday to you. I trust you had a lovely nurturing weekend. Well, here in Canada, we have a long weekend. But I trust that you had a great weekend ready to, to step into this new first full week of August, the month of August. This is our usual Monday check-in, our Mastering Your Mindset conversation, inspiration, ideas. So if you've watched these before, you know that I just like to reflect upon what's happening with the phases of the moon. And then I use four different decks of cards to inspire you to, to bring you into this conversation, into this idea of mastering your own mindset, of really allowing yourself to become very aware of what makes you tick, what makes you say yes or, or navigate towards certain things or navigate away from certain things. That's, that's my idea with this mindset mastery. And the idea of it too is to really embrace and get in touch with the uniqueness that is truly you. And why I'm saying that, that the, if the moon phase that we're affected by this week in particular is the new moon that arrived last night on Sunday is a new moon in the sign of Leo. Now new moons, they're dark moons, they're a real sort of tap or invitation to us to really surrender, to get really in touch with the depths of us, really look at our intentions and the seeds that we've planted and cultivate and, and want to experience more of. But with it being in the sign of Leo, we are really being encouraged to embrace the attributes of Leo, the, the fun, the playfulness, the courage, the strength, the, the light, the protection the, of, of that energy. So where does that show up for you? And what does that mean for you? Are you embracing the, your gifts, your talents, and sharing them with the community that you're in? And it doesn't matter how big or small that means. It could just be a few people around you. But really allowing that to be kind of the, the guiding force for you to, like I was just saying about the saying yes to certain things and saying no to certain things, are you allowing yourself to, to have that sense of calm before jumping into action? This is basically the, the duality of the being and doing, or the masculine and feminine energy. This feels like a really potent time to be checking in, to making sure, are you balancing your self-care needs, your contemplation time, your checking in to see are you using your own voice and actually speaking from the wisdom that's within you? And trust that makes sense. If I say things on these sessions that, you know, trigger you or discombobulate you or you need to be a bit more support or guidance, put it in the comments below or message me directly. These ideas of tapping into the phases of the moon and then, like I said, going into our cards, they're intended to wake it up within you, to inspire you, to check in. How do these words land for you? How do these ideas land for you? And if they don't make sense and they don't resonate, then they're not for you. So it's about being willing to, to just check in so that you can, like I said, navigate and flow. I always think about that. Flowing, flowing in the, the rhythm of your own life. Talking about flowing, the other thing that we are affected by this week is Mercury retrograde starts. And actually, it's with us until the end of August. And so, if you've heard me talk about Mercury retrogrades before, you might remember that I actually really like them. I know a lot of people get, you know, shake their fist at it. Because, so Mercury is all about communication. And with a retrograde, it's the appearance of going backwards. So it's about, this is why I'm saying about the pressing pause and making sure that you're speaking your truth, that you're coming from your own inner wisdom. And sometimes that means taking a wee moment before you communicate. So just see how that shows up. And, and like I said, if you need some support or guidance on any of that, just let me know. But take a nice deep breath. As we feel into 
like I said, the Mercury retrograde and then this new moon energy. Oftentimes when we create these wee pauses to check in and see and feel into how things are for us, there can come up things that we say, you know, that served its purpose. It doesn't need to, I don't need to, to continue that um, ast attribute or that paradigm or that idea. And so it's about letting go. So that's the first deck of cards I use is my letting go guidance system. Because as we evolve and become and align with who we truly are at the core, there are pieces that we, you, you know, you pick up a pattern or a, or a habit for a time and then you can let it go. So let's see, as you take a nice deep breath, let's just see what can we focus on letting go of under this beautiful uh, Leo new moon and it's conflict. So where does conflict show up for you? Is it an internal conflict? Is, it, is there a wee conversation that happens within you that sort of does the woulda, coulda, shoulda? Or is there a conflict where you're not, um, maybe you're, you're, you've got an agenda or you want people to think or speak or be or show up as you would have them rather than allowing them to just show who, you, who they are. Conflict can sometimes be just a, a translation of us not really finding that calm and peace and ease within us. So see how that comes up for you and can you let it go? Let go of conflict. And so now we've got that piece of guidance, letting go of conflict. Let's pull a tarot card to help us sort of embody this energy and make best use of it. Oh, I love this one. It's one of my favorite tarot cards. I have lots of tarot cards that are favorites, but this one, this is the Nine of Cups. I really love that with the Leo energy. That Nine of Cups is so much about celebrating and and feeling prosperous and abundant and having an overflowing heart. That's very Leo type energy is, is feeling abundant and prosperous and sharing and playing and, and wanting to share it. So see, see if you can let go of conflict, maybe that can unleash that from within you, sharing your loving heart, your loving nature. And the more of us that do things like that, the ripple effect into the collective is just so powerful, so pivotal. So maybe we can use this new moon to set those types of intentions, those types of, of um, intentions, ideas within us that maybe we can be the loving beacon of light to release conflict, to be the peaceful um, way shower. That's a really powerful piece too. Okay, so now I'm shuffling the Healing with the Angels cards. I really like these using these cards for these sessions because the wisdom that comes out always seems to support and really align with the other, you know, energies. Oops, that one really wants to come out. The other energies and, and guidance pieces. Perfect. Oh, this is awesome. So I was just saying how perfect they are and, and they really are. So manifestation. We are powerful creator beings. So this idea of manifesting, manifesting is that it's always happening you manifest that which you feel. So you know I was saying about the Nine of Cups kind of saying, encouraging us to really have come from a, a overflowing our cup, our, our loving energy, that's then going to be reflected in the energy around you. You're going to start seeing the 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 ripple effect of your own abundant, beautiful, prosperous heart. And the more we do that, the more we share those types of things, the more healing we have within us, as well as, like I said, it's that ripple effect. You know, when, when we, if we want to see change or calmness or peace or happiness or, or connection around us, we must start within us here first. And then 
sometimes we will see that which is not what we are, are intending or what we are wanting to see. But if we don't get caught up in sort of being being resistant to it or or pushing it away, it's about flow, right? So it's it's about when we get into the law of attraction and the manifestation, sometimes I've heard it called the the law of preferences, if you like. And so it's about sometimes you might attract something that you kind of go, oh, no, I, I prefer something different. So that's fine, but that's a gift to get clear on that which you do want to have more of, if that makes sense. And then the last one is answered prayer. Whenever we ask for something or request something from the universe, it is given, it is answered. Then we get caught up in and and maybe feeling like it's not happening fast enough or it's 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 not here yet, so therefore it's not working. But perhaps this is a time too to cultivate a wee bit more patience, to always know that if I ask the question it's going to be there, but maybe I get to focus more on what's here and trust. So there's two pieces for that's coming with this this idea of setting intentions, using that beautiful Leo energy, understanding too with the Mercury retrograde, if things need to be stated in a different way or something comes up for you to, to unpack or, or say in a different way, just take a moment, breathe into your heart and then speak based on what your heart directs you towards. That's an important part too. So talking about what your heart is guiding you towards, we'll finish this session off with one of my Liberate Your Inner Truth cards. So again, taking another nice deep breath. And like I said, if you need any more support or guidance, inspiration or clarity on anything that I've shared on this session, just let me know. But let's see what's going to seal this session for us, send us off into this week. Perfect. It's I am aligned. That's a beautiful one to have with this one. So let me read this out to you. When I am in alignment with the loving energy of the universe, I become an unstoppable force of graceful ease, joyful attraction and accomplishment. Isn't that beautiful? That's perfectly aligned aligned with the, the inspiration and the different cards that came up for us. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. I'll be back again with you next Monday to set up our next session. Much love to you. Thanks for watching.